Glory be to God. Emmanuel. Viewers, we salute your faith. You may be seated. Thank you. I know today the Spirit of God will talk to you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So let's quickly take our book to the book of John. John 14. I'll take my proof test from this John 14. The rest book will be given to you. Do not let your heart be troubled. Do not let your heart be troubled. You know, I told you about the word heart is your spirit, they refer to. Wherever you see the word heart, mean your spirit, publicly. It refers to your spirit, man's spirit. Do not let your heart be troubled. You believe in God. Without heart, you can't have anything to do with God without spirit. Because he used our spirit to get to us. The spirit of God used our spirit to talk to us. This is why you say heart, heart, heart. He said, do not let your heart be troubled. You believe in God through your heart. Believe also in me. My father's house has many mansions. Many mansions. Think about that. If that were not so, would I have told you that I'm going there to prepare a place for you? It means there's so many mansions. There's big mansions. That is why he's going there to prepare a place for you. There will be accommodation for you. So let's go to the verse 26, which is proof test. But the advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name. In my name, my Father will send this advocate, which is Holy Spirit, will teach you all things, will remind you of everything I have said to you. That is Holy Spirit. Go back to that book of John 14. And also the book of Acts 16, verse 7. And also the book of Luke 24. You take your reading from verse 47. That would be very good. And the book of Ephesians. Ephesians 4, verse 30. In that verse 26, the Father will send in my name will teach you all things, will remind you of everything I have said to you. It means without the Holy Spirit, you cannot remember everything of Jesus. Holy Spirit. This means if you are not born of the Spirit, you are not born again. If you are not born of the Spirit, you are not a true believer. If you are not born of the Spirit, you are not a true Christian. That is why there's a fashion today. We call religions. One, we call Christianity. You just choose where you want to belong. Religious people, Christianity. And the Christianity lies in the heart. Our heart is a contact point. It's communication point. Christianity lies in the world. Heart. So that is Christian for you. He came to restore relationship and fellowship between you and God. He came. But religious people believe they must go there. But our God came to restore the relationship and fellowship between you and God. If you are not born of the Spirit, you are not born again. You are not born again. You are not a Christian. You are not a true believer. How can you be born of the Spirit? Because our God is spirit. And his worshiper must do so in spirit and word and truth. That is why you have to be born of the Spirit. Going by that book of John 14, verse 26, take your reading from verse 26 down, and the book of Ephesians 4, verse 30, you find those key messages and Acts 16, 6, 7. The Holy Spirit is a divine 
person. Take note of that. If Holy Spirit is a divine person who is standing here, is it T.B. Joshua that is talking to you or the divine person? In you, divine person, if you're a Christian, if you're a believer, if you're born again. So I'm here, T.B. Joshua, and divine person standing before you. But you don't know who is talking to you. What happened with the Tami? Because when the divine person talks, changes are beginning. It means I'm here. But the appearance you are saying is Mr. TV Joshua. We have two natures in one person, the divine and human. The Holy Spirit is a divine person. This divine person we obtain as a gift from God upon repentance and uh, baptism. So if you have not repented, you cannot receive that divine person. You will stand to be preaching, not the divine person. You have ability to preach. Divine person, the Holy Spirit, preaches as he weighs. You have ability, charismatic, you can talk, but Holy Spirit also talks as he weighs. But when the Holy Spirit talks, she is a enemy. This divine person we obtain, we receive as a gift from God, free gift from God, upon repentance and what? Baptism. And what is repentance? That is the question. Repentance means being deeply sorry for sin. I mean, be committed to a new way of life from unfaithfulness to faithfulness. Be committed to a new way of life from disobedience to obedience, from hate to love from unrighteousness to righteousness. Being committed to a new way of life, that of serving God, that of following God, which comes when God's spirit begins to live in us. You cannot do it. No one can do the work of cross. Only God can. Say, I want to be obedient. You want to be obedient? Mm, you can be obedient to yourself. But to be obedient to God, you need the Spirit of God. This obedience comes when God's Spirit begins to live in us. The more you meditate, the more your heart acts upon the Word of God. You can preach, I can preach. But the Holy Spirit preaches as he will. And when the Holy Spirit preaches, changes are beginning. The one we speak in prayer, in counseling, if they are not according to the true word of God, I mean, if they are not according to the spirit of God, they will be idle, meaningless, and oftentimes destructive. Because when you call the name Jesus, 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 and you are not calling this name by the help of the Holy Ghost. When Satan here, was, huh? that name is like an ego. When, so when you say ego, you say there's some chicken moving around, and the ego is flying, moving around. The chicken is, you see them running for shelter. Just the same name, Jesus, Satan does not even want to know at the beginning whether that name is called by the help of Holy Ghost. But may I hear that Jesus, <laughs> if they now realize that uh, you are calling that name by yourself, not by the help of Holy Ghost, <clears throat> they get you arrested, beating you. This is what happened to the seven sons of Skebas. It's like uh, you see a tiger or lion 
and you don't know whether it's tied down. May I say, Lion, my brother, what will you do? You don't want to know whether it's tied down or not. You run for your dear life. Before you know, ah, this thing is tied down. You have disappeared. Just the same, the name Jesus. Just sit on here, Jesus. Who is calling the name Jesus? By the time they cite you, and they realize that the name you are calling is not by the help of Holy Ghost, you pay dearly for it. This is exactly what happened to seven sons of Sceva. The way we speak in prayer, Jesus' name, Jesus' name, be he, be he, in counseling, in teaching, if they are not according to the true word of God, if they are not according to the spirit of God, they will be idle and oftentimes destructive, very dangerous. Because the Bible says in that Luke 24, verse 47, he said, Repentance allow us to receive a new life from God. Repentance allow us to receive what? Yeah? Talk to me. What allow you to receive a new life? Repentance. And what is that new life? Repentance is our only hope of receiving God's mercy. Your only hope of receiving God what? God's mercy. We have the Holy Spirit because God's word plainly so indicates. God's word plainly so indicates. Not because of some emotional sensation. Mm, and they touch you. Touch, mm, I have received all this word. I have received all this word. Not because of some emotional sensation. We have the Holy Spirit because God's word plainly so indicates. Now, mm, God, 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 mm, it's Holy Spirit. Mm, what kind of Holy Spirit is that? Manifestation. Not because of some emotional sensation, but because what? God's word plainly so on. The first Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 23. When you take your reading from that verse 23, we are told that man is a divine being, spirit being. We are told. The real thing about man is not his body, but his spirit. Man is a spirit being. The real thing about you, tell your neighbor, the real thing about me is not my body. Because when we wake up in the morning, you make up, you do it, you do this, you do that, you look at the mirror, you see this, you want to see. You are forgotten the written. You are forgotten to dress the written. You are forgotten to, to make up for the written. You are forgotten to put more hair, wig, for the written. You are forgotten to make up for the written. But you have forgotten the written. Whom do we supposed to take care first? The written, tell your neighbor. To be the first what? First priority. You're supposed to take care of the written. Bath the written. Make up for the written. Take care of the written. Because the written about you is not your body, but your spirit. 
today, what are you taking care of? Eh? What are you taking care of? When, tell me how many times you are looking at the mirror and you see the rating and know how it looks. Some of us, we look good, we look beautiful, handsome, but if you look at the, your rating, this is the way you look. Because we are not taking care of it. Some of our rating look. <laughs> and you look beautiful. Sometimes when I see people moving around, you see them putting on the high. When I now look at him to know the rating in him, the rating do like. <laughs> Tell your neighbor, you will be very embarrassed <laughs> when you see your rating. <laughs> Can you see the life we are living? You'll be very embarrassed when God shows you your reading. Some of the reading look like this. <laughs> but you, you look beautiful, handsome. You make up in the morning, you wake up, you take care of yourself, you do your, your, that your teeth. You say, well, okay, can you get me a salad? Have you feed your reading? Salad, do you have salad here? Yeah? I need salad. And the written is suffering. Tell your neighbor, the written about me is not, not my body. If God can reveal to you your written, your real self, your real value, the way it looks, you quarrel that. Why am I looking so handsome? Look at the rating, the, my real value. Look at the way it looks. In that John 8, when the Bible says, When the sun sets you free, you shall be free indeed. He made the liberation of your spirit, not your body. He made the liberation of your world, not your spirit, man's spirit. The liberation of your spirit. This is what he meant. It's a shame. We live life descending order instead of ascending order. And everything about us is like that. It's like that. You want to do this? You want to do that? You want to do this? You want to do that? You want to do this? You want to do that? You keep doing things by yourself, not by the help of the real thing. Your real self, your real value. You keep doing things, many things. If we call, instead of consult your real self, who Holy Spirit you walk through? You walk through your real self, but you are bad on that. When the Bible says, when the sun sets you free, you shall be free indeed. Me, the liberation of your spirit, the liberation of the man's spirit. So I'm telling you here, look at me. Two personalities here today. Two personalities here, but you don't know. Look at it. Two personalities. The one that put on the suit. Good. That is Mr. T.B. Joshua. There is one, my real self. You cannot get involved in God's project without your real self. Man is a spirit being. You are a spirit being. Tell your neighbor. In the name of Jesus, be he, be deliver, be he, be deliver. Ah, take, take time. Who is talking there? Is it T.B. Joshua that is talking? If it is T.B. Joshua, he's talking to himself. You only hear him and he will hear himself. But God is making noise. He's talking to air. See the whole world today. Can you see? We are lost. 
when it comes to things of the Spirit, we are lost. You don't even know whether you are worship God. Because man cannot do the work of cross. Only God can. When we try to do the work of cross by ourselves, we are inflicting pain on ourselves. What is the pain? Our word is meaningless. Oftentimes, the destructive. I do. It's pain. Just, uh, I'm here now today to say praise the Lord, say hallelujah, and I'm not sent. I'm not inspired, not by the help of Holy Spirit, and I carry by myself, oh man, hallelujah, hallelujah. You see everybody enjoying it, emotional, everything going on. Oh my God. I'm inflict pain on myself. Whatever I will say that day will be meaningless. I do oftentimes destructive. Pain. And I finish talking here. When I go back to sleep, dream, vision, pity me, pity me, kill me, sit on my tower, who send you? What are you saying? What are you saying? You are talking against us. You are rebuking us. You are saying, Satan, chill. Do you know whom you are talking to? Who sent you to say that? Beat you, beat you, beat you, pain, pain. Beat you mercilessly. Give you cheats to eat. When you wake up and say, oh, you will not tell anyone. Only you know what happened to you. <laughs> you ride on like a bicycle. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go to that your church. Go, 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 go. Go and preach the word of God. Man has ability to preach. But the Holy Spirit preaches as he will. Intimation must come to us from the Spirit. Do it this way, do it this way, do it that way. Suggestion must come from above to tell you, okay, the one you said, talk to this person, pray, stretch your hand. No, don't do that. No, go. Look. Suggestion must come from the Spirit. If not, hmm, Corresponding power. If not, and you now decided to do on your own, because you are well educated, you can read Bible, you understand Bible. Bible is not a literature. Holy Spirit moved on men of all to document the Holy Word. So we were talking about the book of First Thessalonians, chapter five, verse twenty-three. Yes, that man is a spirit being; is a divine person, possessed of spirit, soul, and body. It is possible to identify our body. This is my body. Like I have said, this is my body. What of our soul and spirit? Shall we say we have no soul and spirit because we cannot identify them? Because there is no emotional contact to prove their existence. There is no emotional reaction to prove their existence. Shall we say we have no soul and spirit? Then God say we have. But let me leave you with this word. If you are not born of the spirit, you are not a Christian. Tell your neighbor. No, 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 no. Let him put it this way. There are two Christians. If you are not a born again, if you are not born of the spirit, you are not a true Christian. Tell your neighbor. There must be corresponding power. You must connect with your father in heaven. A suggestion must come.
from above suggestion what to do intimation if not you continue to live on copy copy what did they say what do they say what is this where should i go you continue to live on copy 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 you know when you are using a copy and it's not original you know how it is? if i want to give you a book original copy and i photocopy give you a copy continue to live a copy a copy a copy a copy lie a copy lie your business your life your your head your joy your peace there's a copy peace there's a copy joy there's a copy business there's a copy <coughs> happiness there's a copy 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 without corresponding power from above without intimation suggestion if you are not born of the spirit you are not a true christian you can be the richest in the world without the spirit of god you can be the richest man in the world without the spirit of god you can have the largest church congregation all over the world without the spirit of god listen to me you can have the largest church without the spirit of god the largest congregation, the crowd is not our strength. The crowd is not our strength. Wash humanity is the most washed all over the world. The most washed channel now, click it, all over the world. But this is a Kotobe, a very isolated city here. But you find your way to come. Crowd, the largest church all over the world can be operated without the Holy Spirit. You can be the richest all over the world without the Holy Spirit. You can be the most famous all over the world without the Holy Spirit. Our joy, our main reward is peace of heart. Are you with me? How many soldiers do you see here with God? Do you see Barricade here? Because I have so much peace of heart. There's supposed to be barricade here. Okay. Somebody can jump there. Barricade here, barricade here. This is three man, look at. Oh, even though child, I don't want them standing here, go your way. Because there's so much peace of heart. And if you send me over there, you are helping me. That is my home. <laughs> you are just helping me. Well, that is my home. That is where I want to be. That is where I want to be. Sending me there is happy. It's not anything. It's help. You are helping me. So, what are we talking about? All those things you are, you see, as a testimony of Holy Spirit, testimony of Holy Spirit. Manifestation of Holy Spirit, this, that, that, that. The testimony of Holy Spirit is the peace of heart. Because you need that peace of heart. That is why you keep running, 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 running. running. You can't eat what you want to eat. So I want to leave you here. Bless you.